I would like to speak briefly and simply about a serious national condition. It is a national feeling of fear and frustration that could result in national suicide. And the end of everything that we Americans hold dear. It is a condition that comes from lack of effective leadership in either the legislative branch or the executive branch of our government. I speak as a Republican. I speak as a woman. I speak as a United States Senator. I speak as an American. I think that it is high time for the United States Senate and its members to do some soul searching. For us to weigh our consciences on the manner in which we are performing our duty to the people of America. On the manner in which we are using or abusing our individual powers and privileges. Those of us who shout the loudest about Americanism in making character assassinations are all too frequently those who, by our own words and acts, ignore some of the basic principles of Americanism. The right to criticize. The right to hold unpopular beliefs. The right to protest. The right of independent thought. The exercise of these rights should not cost one single American citizen his reputation or his right to a livelihood nor should he be in danger of losing his reputation merely because he happens to know someone who holds unpopular beliefs. Who of us doesn't? Otherwise, none of us could call our souls our own. Otherwise, thought control would have set in. The American people are sick and tired of being afraid to speak their minds lest they be politically smeared as communists or fascists by their opponents. Freedom of speech is not what it used to be in America. It has been so abused by some that it is not exercised by others. As a woman, I wonder how the mothers, wives, sisters, and daughters feel about the way in which members of their families have been politically mangled in the Senate debate. And I use the word debate advisedly. As a United States Senator, I am not proud of the way in which the Senate has been made a publicity platform for irresponsible sensationalism. I am not proud of the reckless abandon in which unproved charges have been hurled from this side of the aisle. As an American, I am shocked at the way the Republicans and Democrats alike are playing directly into the communist design of confuse, divide, and conquer. As an American, I don't want a Democratic administration whitewash or cover-up any more than I want a Republican smear or witch hunt. It's high time that we stopped thinking politically as Republicans and Democrats about elections and started thinking patriotically as Americans about national security based on individual freedom. It is high time that we all stopped being tools and victims of totalitarian techniques, techniques that, if continued here unchecked, will surely end what we have come to cherish as the American way of life.